Alright guys, Red here. First off, excuse the clickbait title. Basically you can make 225,000 alpha UAC in 5 minutes, but you can only do it a few times every night. Basically when the uh, cart mission pops up, okay? So uh, my apologies for that. We, if you don't know, we're obviously using the Retaliator to do extreme risk targets and kill the Idris using 6 torpedoes. Now your mileage may vary, you might miss a shot or two and have to go and re-arm, but I'm going to try and show you a way in which I've been doing it and I'm most of the time getting it down in one run. So basically you're doing this, if you don't already know, you're completing the Eckhart missions. You do that by taking low level bounties and leveling up and leveling up and waiting, you're working your way up, always accepting the missions that will let you progress on harder and harder bounties, all the way up to very high risk targets. You do enough of them and eventually a guy called Eckhart will contact you, you go meet him, you do a few missions for the guy killing uh, Arlington gang members, you do enough of them and sooner or later this Idris mission will pop up. Now, in my experience in 3.17.2 if you take the personal missions in the personal tab in your mobile glass you will get a crime stat okay so i've been doing the ones in the general tab uh, from Egg eckhart security everything's worked out great i, I got the address mission eventually so i would just avoid the any of the ones in the personal tab okay so when you finally get the mission, you're going to want to get yourself a Retaliator Bomber. How you get up to that point, I've been using a, a Sentinel. That's been perfect for doing the, the PvE missions and the bounty hunting. It's just a suggestion. You can use whatever you like, okay? Uh, but once you get up to that level, and hopefully you'll have the money, you buy yourself a Retaliator and you want to outfit it with nine uh, Seeker 9 torpedoes. Now you can buy the Retaliator at New Deal in Lorvo and you can buy the Seeker 9s on uh, Center Mass in Area 18, Dumpers Depot on Area 18 or Center Mass in New Babbage. If you have the money, you can also do up the ship systems. Now I'm not entirely sure that this actually does anything but I have seen a significant reduction in my electromagnetic signal and my IR signal. What you need to do is uninstall one power plant and one shield generator. This could possibly be the key to the entire thing and the reason that it's working. Right, so we're approaching the target relatively slow. You should pick them up at around about 12 kilometers. Uh, they all show up in your radar. You want to set your torpedoes to fire two at a time and release them at around about 8 kilometers. At that point you'll start taking incoming fire as well. So you're going to be wanting to strafe upwards whilst going towards the target. And then you're just going to boost up and away from the target. So basically we're doing three sets of two torpedoes and three run-ins. And if you can, try and draw the target up away from the ground because the altimeter's broken and especially when it's dark and foggy, I like to try and draw them up with me a bit higher in the space. I can move faster and there's less chance of me hitting the ground, basically. I'm taking a lot of fire here, so I'm going to be managing my shield pips and my my boost pips. So the second run-in is going to be down onto the target. The Retaliator can take a substantial amount of damage. So if you have to choose, I would choose getting more boost back faster. That's the second two torpedoes away. And again, I'm just turning off the target, getting my shields back up, getting my boost sorted out.
I'm just getting back on target, lining the shot up, letting it go as soon as I possibly can, and getting back out of there. I've still got a decent bit before we're at the floor, but I would rather stay high in the atmosphere than, you know, lower down, because it takes more energy to get back out and get more speed again. And that's it. That's it right there. Um, I could have done this run better. Um, I mismanaged my energy a lot there. And I ran out of boost. And I was getting pung pretty, pretty bad. Um, but if you come in low and then go up through the target, but not straight up, like up at a 45 degree angle, then turn and come back down at a 45 degree angle through the target and then back up again at a 45 degree angle and just keep doing that. And that's it guys, that's all I've got. If you can, leave a wee subscribe and next time I'm going to try and do the ERT group bounties in the same sort of time frame, at least try and get it under uh, 10 minutes. Uh, that's around... 8 to 6 to 90,000 I think per run including the costs for torpedoes and stuff that would still be a significant turnover that's what we're going to be doing next time so if that's something you'd be interested in I'll see you then